and the oil refiner Valero are all signed as on as clients of the Lincoln Policy Group, which is owned by former Senator Blanche Lincoln, a Democrat from Arkansas. Arkansas, not sauce. <laughs> And here's a list of other congressmen who are now on Monsanto's payroll. U.S. Congressman Tony Moffitt, he's their consultant. Evil. U.S. Congressman Dennis D. Consichny, I might be murdering him. What a scum. He is their legal counsel. The Department Director of FD, FDA Health and Food Safety, Margaret Miller, is their chemical lab supervisor. White House Consumer Advisor, Carol Tucker Foreman, is a Monsanto lobbyist. The Director of the USDA National Institute Food and Agriculture, Roger Beachy, is the Director of Monsanto. Those guys are all bought. Yeah. And we can't forget about our 2016 Democratic presidential candidate, Hillary Clinton. Ooh. Ooh. She's a scum of the earth. She is, she supports biotech and Monsanto. And several years ago, she worked for the law firm of Rose Law, who represented Monsanto. Big news today, be, people. Water, Big uh, movement the, the today. Food and Water Watch has a document in 2010 that revealed that the food and agriculture biotechnology spends more than a half a billion dollars every year to influence Congress. They are actively fighting to eliminate or prevent labeling of genetically modified foods in the United States and trying to prevent other countries from regulating GMOs. But right now they're not doing so good in other countries.